Hello, my name is Christina. I am a senior at Erlund College, and throughout the semester, I have been working at, on Cornered as their Impact and Evaluation Fellow. I had another speech about how I started reading books and how people were rolling natural herbs on the buzz, <laughs> but I realized I want to talk about something else. Before I decided to do this program, I applied to various internships for the summer. I curated perfect applications and felt super confident that I would get them. A few weeks later, I received an email from my top choice saying, we regret to inform you, we don't have a place for you this summer because you're not a US citizen. I cried when I saw this email because as an international student, I was coming into my last semester of college, I was feeling the pressure to get every opportunity possible, to get a job, to get into grad school, to stay in the US. This is the first time I felt like my background was a disadvantage. Fast forward, fall semester comes around, and I'm feeling excited once again. I have a new chance to start over and show on corner that I'm what I'm capable of. Everything was going great. I was given bigger responsibilities. I handed everything in on time, and I was showing promising advancements on my special project. I was really enjoying myself. At some point, in conversation with peers and getting comfortable around others, I started to encounter comments and situations that I was not prepared for. I was being constantly asked what the word is of something in Spanish, how my exaggerated accent was cute, how my English is so good, and even being mistaken for the daughter of two strangers with, dark, with tan skin. I never had so many situations at once where this is all I heard from others, and don't get me wrong, I love showing off my culture and my language, but this felt different and it felt uncomfortable. I decided to share this with my mom, mostly just to gossip. <laughs> I told her everything in detail and I felt and how I felt about it. All she said was, you're being so dramatic. Just don't pay attention to it and keep working. At first I felt she didn't quite understand what I was coming from, and I mean, how could she? She doesn't live in the US. I was like, mommy, are you serious? <laughs> this is problematic. <laughs> and she insisted to keep going, to ignore it, and just to concentrate on my work. It took me a few days to realize what actually what she meant, because moms always mean what they say from love. She wanted me to understand that when someone says something hurtful and wants to define you solely by your ethnicity, where you grew up, or the language you speak, you need to show them that you are much more than that. I needed to show that I am much more than just my background. Instead of feeling discouraged, I tried to show up earlier and leave later to ask more questions and to take on more responsibilities. I made sure that the people around me and the organization will remember me as an achiever, an action taker, as indestructible. This is the opportunity that CFSI offered me as a fellow in SITC. So with that, I introduce myself again. My name is Cristina Esquiva Rodriguez. I am 22 years old. I've lived my entire life in Costa Rica, and my native language is Spanish. Maybe you don't know who I am today, but I will make sure that you know who I am meant to become.